I like functional programming and I like Dart. So in this screencast, I will show how to refactor imperative Dart code using functional programming techniques. To do that, I've prepared a small example. There are two classes, employee and department. Employees have names and salaries, and departments are just simple collections of employees. I've also prepared some test data with four employees and one department. Average salary is a function that I'm going to refactor. It takes a list of employees, a minimum salary, and optionally a department. Given a department, it calculates the average salary of the employees in that department. When not given a department, it does the same calculation for all the employees. As you can see, the requirements are pretty basic, but the code is already convoluted and hard to extend. What if I added another condition, like the maximum salary condition? I would have to change the signature of the function, and the if statement would get even nastier. So let's see how we can refactor this function by using some functional programming techniques. The first one is prefer functions over simple values. Instead of passing a department and a minimum salary, let's pass two functions instead. We can do it as follows. Now let's make sure that the test still pass. What we've done is we unified the interface of the salary and department conditions. Having this unified interface, we can just pass all the conditions wrapped in list. The code already looks much better, but we are far from being done. The second technique is to model all data transformations as pipes, which in our case means extracting the filtering out of the loop. The list of conditions is nothing but a composite condition. To express it, we can extract a simple combinator that takes a list of predicates and returns a composite predicate. It's worth noting that this combinator is generic and can be reused. Now it's clear that we don't need to count anymore. Instead, we can use the length of the filtered collection. Next, if I get the salaries before adding them up, the summation becomes nothing but a simple fold. Alright, the last two lines seem generic enough for me, so let's extract them into a function. Finally, these three lines deserve to be a function as well. Look what we got here. It's a very simple function. There is not a single if statement here. But if you are a fan of functional programming, you are probably wondering if we can rewrite this function in point free style. And we totally can. We just need to import the FP library. I wrote it to make functional programming in Dart a little bit easier. Using the Compose Combinator, I can define average salary in point free style. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.